FRAP, fluorescence redistribution after photobleaching, is used to gain quantitative information about the dynamic behavior of molecules in the cell. In a FRAP experiment, a high-intensity laser beam is used to irreversibly bleach fluorescent molecules in one region of the cell. Redistribution of the remaining fluorescent molecules is then monitored in both bleached and unbleached regions of interest over time. By analyzing the time course of the redistribution, we can determine the diffusion coefficient and mobile fraction of the molecules. To simplify the photobleaching experiments and data analysis, FRAP can be designed as a two-dimensional problem instead of a three-dimensional problem. The FRAP experiment is commonly performed using a laser scanning confocal microscope. To collect two-dimensional data, fluorescence is collected from the entire depth of the specimen at each XY position. To do this, one selects a lens of sufficiently low numerical aperture that the laser beam approximates a column through the entire depth of the specimen. The confocal pinhole is also opened wide enough that fluorescence from the entire depth of the cell is collected at each point. Select a region of interest for monitoring fluorescence with a low-intensity laser beam that includes the entire cell. You need to collect a few images before bleaching to establish the initial distribution of fluorescence. Choose a second region of interest in the cell within which fluorescence will be bleached using a high-intensity laser beam. Begin collecting images immediately after the bleach and collect enough points to get a good curve for the initial recovery. Collect for a long enough time that no additional changes in the fluorescence redistribution are observed. To analyze the recovery curve, the virtual cell can be used to simulate a FRAP experiment and obtain the diffusion coefficient and mobile fraction of the fluorescent molecule.